If you are an Android developer and wondering if the new apples with M1 chip or the apple silicon as they call it is good for your development process or it will enhance your development process. Make sure you check the complete video and also by the end of it I have you know noticed a very strange thing about the Android emulator. Make sure you check that out as well. So I've just installed the Android Studio Preview which is specially for Apple Silicon Macs that is Mac M1. Uh, it's not stable yet. It's the beta version since the preview, right? Uh, it's Android Studio Bumblebee 2021.1.1 Canary 2. Okay. And yeah, I haven't created any projects yet. So you can see with me how fast it can create project. There's just one little problem with it. I won't say it's little or not. It does not support Android NDK, right? So NDK basically means that you can use native code C, C++ languages to integrate in your projects. And that I just know from the Google searches. I don't know anything about Android development. Anyways, let's get into it and see how fast it can create projects. All right, uh, let's select blank activity or empty activity. Okay, what do we have to do? Uh, next, then let's give a, a generic name. It will do. Uh, okay, and just finish. And let's see how fast it can create. Hmm. Okay, it's downloading Gradle wrong. Okay. From my Windows experience, it is pretty fast actually. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but yeah, my Windows machine was really old. So, also I've used the the stable version, like it's not for Mac M1 and it did not include the emulator, right? I had to download the other one. It, I guess it was using a Rosetta 2 to simulate uh, and it was fast also, but not this, I guess. But yeah, now we have the beta version and hopefully soon we'll have the stable version for Apple Silicons. And yeah, the Gradle build has started. A few moments later. All right, so Gradle Sync finished in five minutes, 40 seconds. So approximately six minutes, okay. And it also depends on my internet connection, so. I won't give the complete credit to this, right? So it can be faster if my internet was faster. Anyways, so uh, this I'm gonna ignore for this project right now. And let's go ahead and check the ARM64 emulator, right? Let's, 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 let's play the app. Okay, Gradle build running, it's starting, I'll allow. And it started. Whoa. Okay. It's just a black screen right now. A few moments later. Gradle build finished in 49 seconds. That's, that's, I guess that's crazy. Nice. Let's see how long our emulator will take to start. I guess I'll just minimize this one. Okay, and yeah, pixel is starting. And and it started. Okay, it's it hasn't started yet. The app. System UI isn't responding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'll close the app. Wait, it started responding. Okay, I don't know why it showed that. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it started pretty quickly. I have tried it once on my Windows. It didn't work this fast. Anyways, so yeah. All right, so I have closed the app and let's go ahead and make small change to the text and let's see how much time it takes to load. Wait, let's, let's reload the app first. What am I thinking? Loading state. Okay, it it saved the state. Okay, it it started pretty quickly. <laughs> Wait, this was the black screen. Okay, this time Gradle build finished in seven seconds. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it built finished in seven seconds. Okay, let's wait for the app to launch. 
Hmm. This black screen takes a long time. Anyways, this is beta, so I hope this fixes in the stable version. I also have this pop up to increase the heap size, so I guess that will also increase some performance. So I can try that as well. But yeah, by the time it is starting, let's go ahead and change the hello world text to, uh, let's say, urban codes, urban, wait, subscribe to urban codes. Yeah, make sure you do that. Anyways, we'll save that and hopefully it is changed in here. Yeah, and we can go ahead. Wait, should we do that? It hasn't started yet. Oh God. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Let's see how much time it takes to build again. Okay, gradle build finished in four seconds and god knows how much time will it take to show it here launch succeeded okay okay it finally started and yeah it took a lot of time from the black screen to commit here so I'm going to say the emulator sucks right now for the preview <laughs> and it's it's just preview. So I hope it gets better. I really, really hope it gets better. But the the building time was really fast. So uh, I guess, yeah, if you're using your phone to build it, it is worth it. And yeah, the emulator sucks right now. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the emulator sucks. Anyways, let's start again. It's loading the state. And oh my God. I swear it started in. It... Okay, it started in seconds this time. Okay. Okay, it is good. It, it it didn't start for the first two times. I don't know why it took a lot of time, but from the second time it is working pretty fast. Let's, let's go ahead and make another change. I'll, where did it go? Wait. Yeah. So I'll say like the video. Eh. Okay. And again rerun the app and let's see how much time it takes oh wait i i sh shouldn't have done that but no worries it will terminate the app install again that was my mistake i'm sorry <laughs> that was that's on me but it it ran pretty quickly man damn yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> the first impression was the emulator sucks but now it does not that much. So yeah, you saw how it was. And since this was the first time I created app, the first time it downloads Cradle and it, it, it is a long process and it takes a long time. But I would say comparatively, it took less time than I was using uh, it in the previous machine, right? So it took lesser time compared to that. But yeah, I really hope from the next time it will take less, even less time. Okay. And for the emulator, the first time, I don't know why it didn't start, but from the next time onwards, it is starting pretty quickly. So yeah, that's, that's there. And yeah, it was, it was, it was in front of your eyes. So I would say it is okay for the beta version, at least it's fine. Uh, for the stable version, I really hope to see improvement in this for the stable version and Yeah, that's it for this video. If you want me to try something else You can tell me 
okay comment down below and let me know what you want to see me try in this mac m1 and yeah if if you want to connect on me with instagram okay <laughs> If you want to connect to me on Instagram, you can do that at Open Code. If you want to support this channel and me, you can just go to this link and support. Okay, it's buy me a coffee link. I have set a goal. You can go ahead and see that. Anyways, you can find the link in the description as well. Anyways, subscribe. To That's all. okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.